you guys end up losing Naomi with about nine minutes left in the fourth quarter, a lot of game left. So what did that change for you guys? What kind of effect did that have down the stretch on having her? Uh, it changed a lot for us. She's a bigger guard, so, you know, on the defensive end, she can, you know, we can switch with four players and, you know, guards and fours can switch them. And then offensively, she's just a threat on the offensive end. So, you know, it hurt us a lot. Um, there's nothing else to really say about it, but she learned from it and, you know, she knows she can't do that again because she's a big piece of this team. The, the final inbounds play for, for them in the overtime, kind of talk about that and how, you know, that, that develops and how she's able to, you know, to get that open. open um, I think it's simple. We just, you know, had a couple people not intense, not ready to play. Um, it wasn't anything special. They set a screen. I don't even know if it was a screen. Yeah. She popped to the three and I mean, she was open, and I, I really don't know. I, you know, Surprised it's that she takes that shot, or that's one yeah, thing they set that, up in that, that moment. I mean, yeah, that's one thing you know we scout her on is she can shoot that shot. Yeah. So um, for her to get a wide open look like that is kind of disappointing. But you know, it is what it is. We got to move on. What was it like, pressure wise, to you know make those free throws? Uh, at the end of uh, <laughs> overtime, every final possession. That was a lot of pressure. Uh, I I don't know. I always get the butterflies and stuff like that. But I mean, who doesn't? Um, but you know, I was happy I could knock them down for my team and you know, get us up a little bit.